Hello and welcome to this video about Vincent Van Gogh, but not really. It's gonna be me complaining about my life. Per the huge, I was gonna make a kind of a love letter to the style and artistry and like his life, and but now I'm just kind of looking at everything I recorded and I just kind of went off on a long tangent about being really mad about life. But you know, who cares? It's what you kind of make of things, right? Let's all struggle together. Let's make a meme. Now don't worry, I'm not going to rant. I just happened to make myself cry when I was originally going to record stuff for this video. Because, you know, I love Vincent. But his life makes me cry. Because I see little mirrors, little reflections, if you will, of myself. Eh, what you gonna do? What we're gonna do instead is you're gonna listen to some like ASMR sketching and then maybe I'll talk. Who knows? It'll be a surprise. Now here's the part you've all been waiting for. What has it been? A good few months since my last upload? Oh, well, um, uh, I'm sorry. It didn't take that long to paint this. I've just been really depressed. I apologize for the lateness in my ability to upload consistently like I was doing last year. But you know, holiday depression. Now, when I started to kind of look into and relearn painting when it came to oils, I didn't. I, I, I just stared at a lot of Vincent's work. And then I also had to differentiate Vincent's work versus people's reproductions of it. And then I was trying to find videos and how like the techniques that he used and what he started with it was like if it was like charcoals and then like a glaze or whatnot and i ended up just doing the pencil and then going at it with the oil paint so you know what i think it's not a super faithful reproduction of the like the skill set whatever but like i tried <laughs> and one thing in particular that i tried to really keep going at was like the flow of the strokes following the form and I want to say I did okay pretty good I really like how it came out in the end I really like the pop of just the mittens against everything that is cold and then you know I like how the legs came out I did kind of fumble a little bit when I was doing the ankles and the shoes but whatever please please enjoy uh, my painting. It's been quite a bit since I've used oil paint. I did do one other painting with oil paint a while before, like a few months ago. No, almost a year ago. My bad. And I never finished that one, but I really should 
but I was using cheaper oils on this one. I need to get some better oils because like I can really feel the difference between the consistency of like the, 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 the texture and stuff. Let's just say I'm a little spoiled. I like better quality oils. They were like student quality still, but you know, still like you can tell the difference. You can tell how smooth something, how creamy, how much coverage you get out of it. Um, with the cheaper oils, I would definitely like do more texture though, because like they, they feel a little chunkier. Now, if we were to go over kind of like, um, let me talk about myself a little bit here. The things that upset me when it comes to Vincent is the fact that you have this ar like arguably really good painter who's just got a like really interesting stylistic kind of inflection on his work, the way he abstracts things, the way he decides to imply like form with like like the motion of the strokes, that sort of stuff. You have this kind of interesting character and he is a troubled man and what do they do with troubled men is they put them in little houses out in fields and they leave them alone to get depressed and sad and from what i've read he wouldn't have very he wasn't very close with any of his family he's kind of almost disowned if i remember correctly except his brother was the one who he like absolutely loved and adored the most and they would correspond with letters all the time and from those letters you can kind of see they had a really loving relationship like that was like what he was holding on to but you know he couldn't always be with his brother they were just adorable together whenever they were together he was very much supported by his brother his brother would buy him stuff he was aware of like how he was aware of how much of a drain he was on him so he would be careful as to how much he would ask of him and you know he needed more of that <laughs> and he didn't get it and that's why you have the whole ideation of he didn't necessarily eat yellow paint but he did express the want to have the feeling that the color kind of portrayed to him inside of himself and uh yeah i get that whole idea and I really internalize the whole, you know, being alone and neglected. <laughs> but I'm not going to say, hey, what are you going to do about it? It's, it's, it's something that, you know, I have to deal with in my head. But let me just point out here. I also really love the way he would contrast and outline things. If he wasn't going to fully render his pieces, he did have like these almost hard lines that were really dark and outlining the forms and stuff. It's a little, kind of like, uh, you can see it with his like more loosely painted things where it's just like de more gestural sort of uh, pieces. Um, and that's like another really key thing I noticed in a lot of his work is like that kind of harder or darker outline. But you know, he still had those like motions and flows of the strokes and that colored it in that uh, followed the form. I tried my best. I really took inspiration that starry night uh, for the background. And there was another piece, I don't remember which, but it had more of a like an almost knitted square stroke sort of uh, thing. And that's what I ended up doing for the f bottom section that ends up being purplier. Because I was like, I wanted more warm colors not because I'm good at painting or anything, but just because I really like pinks and purples, and that's my my personal inflection, is just adding really hot colors or really fun, vibrant stuff to it. I think what I would do when I get the chance is to finish the other piece, because that one has a lot of muted colors on it, it would be really interesting to see the difference in like how I would paint something with oils versus like trying to mimic somebody else's style. I'm also considering like maybe trying some other styles um this painting in particular did get sold to like a mutual friend and that was fucking awesome and i want to make more paintings and sell them but like should i should i keep doing memes
<laughs> Should they do it the memes? <laughs> Who knows? But uh, you can tell that there's a sudden film grain difference, by the way. I got a new webcam for my birthday. My sister got it for me. Quietly, like, pointing out the fact, like, hey, some, 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 uh, I'm not allegorical, some similarities in the, like, oh, sibling giveth the things to the sad, destitute artist. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, I like purple. Can't really see all the blues and greens that I put in the forehead on my camera. Probably because of the yellow light. Get a nice look at this. I'm trying to get the nice colors in so you can see it a little more true. A little more true. Instead of under the uh, yellow light. I really like kind of like a little colors. Mm. Yes, what? You're not allowed out. <laughs> now, I bid you adieu. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am sorry again for being so late. I have no excuse other than all the excuses. I enjoyed painting this. If you guys want to see some more oil painting, perhaps yell at me to do that. Because I could do that. Uh -huh.